The DV5 deluge valve with electric actuation. This is an automatic water control valve used in deluge, pre-action, and special types of fire protection systems. The model DV5 deluge valve is a diaphragm style valve that depends upon water pressure in the diaphragm chamber to hold the diaphragm closed against the water supply pressure. The system is shown ready for operation. The water supply contains water under pressure, shown here in blue. This is also connected to the diaphragm chamber, the solenoid valve, and the manual control station. Air open to atmosphere is in three locations, shown here in orange. One, the sprinkler pipe system. Two, the water alarm switch and automatic drain valve trim. Three, the trim which connects the automatic shutoff valve. When the fire sets off a heat detector, the detector sends a signal to the control panel. The control panel goes into alarm condition and opens the solenoid valve. The open solenoid valve will release water from the diaphragm chamber faster than it can be replenished through the 1 8 inch restriction in the automatic shutoff valve. The rapid pressure drop in the diaphragm chamber forces the diaphragm open allowing water to spray out of the sprinklers or nozzles. Water flows through the system to the sprinklers and the water flow pressure alarm switch activating the alarm. Water also passes through the trim to the automatic shutoff valve to close this valve. Once closed it will prevent the diaphragm chamber from becoming repressurized. This protects against accidentally shutting the system off if the solenoid valve were inadvertently closed. Let's take a look at the system in action. To reset the valve after the fire is under control, the main supply valve is manually closed to shut off the water supply, and the diaphragm chamber supply valve is also closed. Then the main drain valve and all auxiliary drains are open to drain water from the system. Once the system stops discharging water, close all drains except the main drain valve. Depress the plunger of the automatic drain valve to verify that it is open and the system is drained. Clean the Y strainer in the diaphragm chamber supply connection trim. Reset the manual and electric actuation systems. Open the diaphragm chamber supply valve so the diaphragm chamber can return to full pressure. Pressurize the system and perform system tests as described in the technical data sheet. Finally, slowly open the main supply valve and close the main drain once water begins to discharge from the drain. The system is then ready to return to service.